In 2014, the so-called Islamic State, also known as ISIL or ISIS, attacked Yazidi villages in northern Iraq in an attempt to eradicate the religious minority. Since this genocide began, the Iraqi NGO Yazda has been gathering evidence and interviewing witnesses in Iraq for potential prosecution of the alleged perpetrators. The perpetrators of these crimes were of multiple nationalities, including Iraqis. Yet so far, most of them could not be tried for a number of reasons. This leaves very limited justice avenues for the Yazidi victims. However, with evidence collected by Yazda, German courts have been able to try ISIL members using what is called universal jurisdiction. This legal principle allows states to claim jurisdiction over crimes so severe that they affect the whole international community, regardless of where or by whom they were committed. In the Taha AJ case, which is the first genocide case worldwide, we were able to identify the Yazidi survivor who was the only victim and only witness in that case that we are aware of. And thanks to her testimony, the, the conviction was, was possible for genocide. But this is not enough. Only a small fraction of the potential thousands of cases of international crimes committed in Iraq and Syria can be tried under universal jurisdiction, as individual states' capacities are limited. This is why many are calling for the creation of an international tribunal dedicated to these Yazidi victims. <laughs> أو عدالتك محاكم بينك هيكرن كداعش بيحاسبان دين 